hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel uh today we are going to do some uh, black holes i found out about this technique from the royal skies channel you should definitely check it out the guy is super fast explains well uh, i needed to check it out if it still works with uh 5.5 the newest version of unreal in the time of this recording and uh gladly it works and uh, i will uh copy and paste the whole blueprint so you can just copy and paste it from the link in the description below into your unreal engine 5 and it will work straight out of the box uh, if you just want to test it out and if you want to learn step by step uh, let's uh, start uh, doing this first step is to create a material so right click over here go to material and you can uh, name this material black hole uh, open it up and uh, the first thing we need to do is to select your uh, output node and over here on the left side under the blend mode make this to be translucent and shading mode to be unlit Let's create Fresnel node, right click Fresnel and this Fresnel node will control the size of this black hole and add one minus node, power node and multiply you can hold M on your keyboard left click on your mouse uh, button sorry I need to promote my 75 tips and tricks because it, this will really help you a lot to uh, speed up your process in Unreal Engine 5 but let's move on now let's connect these things just connect it as you can see and connect this to B make sure that it's B not A and we need to move this to opacity now let's move further time with multiply node we need time with time with speed variable one add node hold a on your keyboard and left mouse click and one sign node and we need another fresh node and let's connect it and we need to connect this to the refraction but it's disabled just select your result node and in the search type in refraction and over here you can choose the refraction method i will choose the 2d offset and now you can just connect it to the refraction and we can see that something is happening on the left side let's now uh, change some values over here make this one this you can leave this as 0.04 our base to be 10 and multiply to be let's go with 10 this b you can multiply this b to be 1 this to be 1 and this to be 3 and we have a basic uh, black hole uh, effect uh, just let me run this through this controls the black hole size so if i go with 5 it will be bigger we can go with three or one over here you can uh, change the sharpness for example let's go with a 20 or let's go with a 50 you can see the sharpness if I go with one it will be a little bit blur let's go with 10 over here in the multiply if you go over here and change this to two it will change the speed of these pulses for example if you go with 10 you can see how fast it is go back with two over here we can cho choose the size of the waves so if you go with a five it will be a uh, fairly big if you go with ten it will be even bigger so we need something smaller like four or one this looks nice and over here uh, you can choose the number of waves if you go with one wave you can see how it goes left and right so we need to have like i don't know let's go with 10 waves so you can see the effect looks nice hit apply and let's go back add one sphere and just drag and drop the material to the sphere and if i go closer you can see this black hole effect okay this is a basic setup but what if we want to uh, control this in our material instance so because we don't want to go all the time over here so by creating this material instance it will help us out to understand what each node represents and we will have this uh, visible in our material instance nothing complicated just uh, follow along and if you don't know material instances uh, if you click over here and choose your material we will have on the right side all these options as you can see over here 
we'll have options like this that we can easily change so we don't need to go here in our master material so let's start uh, you can hold s on your keyboard left click and this will be black hole size go to exponential connect it and change the value to be one we will keep the same values and we will change the values after we create our material instance control this sharpness so we want to go s left mouse click call this sharpness connect it and add a value of 10 next is our time speed we change the wave speed over here connect it and make the default value to be 2 uh, wave size wave size to be 1 and wave amount to be 8 and uh, we have our material setup here and before we create a material instance make sure to apply everything save everything go over here save your level because it won't show in material instance if you didn't save everything and right click over here and create material instance save everything hit enter to open it up and you can see under the global scalar perimeter values you can see our values over here so i will make this floating so we can see the difference right away and if i go closer to our wave you can see black hole size we can just increase or decrease the black hole size but uh, nothing is moving i forgot the crucial step and this is to select your sphere and add your material instance here now it will work instead of material don't forget to add in material instance instead of material and we can immediately see the result of our effect we can change the sharpness wave amount wave size and wave speed and when you are uh, ready you can just click this save this asset if you want to create multiple black holes select your sphere hold alt to duplicate and hold alt again to duplicate and we want to create three different uh, material instances go create material instance to be second this will be our first we have first second and create material instance that will be third or turf and save everything and now drag the second to the second and drag third to the third uh, sphere and we can uh, now let's open up the second one and change some perimeters here hit save turn it off uh, let's go to the third one open the third and we easily designed three black holes that looks different and this is it uh, if you find this helpful let me know in the comments below drop some likes and subscribe for our new uh, content uh, every week stay good and see in some other video bye bye